Hi guys, I've already done Peter Rabbit. We're learning how to draw Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail and, and Mrs. Rabbit today. Since I already did Peter, we could only do Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Mrs. Rabbit. So since we just read the the tale of Peter Rabbit in the last video, we're gonna learn how to draw the everybody on this page. You see them? Peter, Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, Mrs. Rabbit. Yeah, those are the people who we are gonna draw today. Yes, they are rabbits. They aren't people. True, they are people. Well, while you're looking at the the thing, the art that I made up there, I'm gonna get the stuff re the stuff ready. Okay. So you should have a paper, two pencils. Um, some colored pencils, a eraser, and yeah, that's it. So, for you to get them, I'm giving you two minutes. I've got a timer here to time how much time it, how much time I, I told you. If you hear meowing, that's just my cat. One more minute left. Okay, now I am going to tell you why I wanted to make Peter Rabbit. So, every, well, Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Mrs. Rabbit. Um, it's, this is why. It's because everybody, Basically, everybody in my family, like my immediate family and my and my daddy's side, the person who was who was playing cat tic tac toe, 
that's that's who my daddy is. I call um, my daddy's mom and dad Nine and Tide, and they have the Beatrix Potter books in their house too. Yeah. So, so that's why I wanted to do Peter Rabbit, and also because I love I I love Beatrix Potter drawings, and I read it. Read Peter Rabbit to you last week. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to start. So, we're going to start drawing one of the bunnies' um, heads. They're kind of like a triangle. So, I'm going to do a, but a rounded end. The triangle part is is the nose, so we're gonna start like making the sides of it. So I've done one part. Now we're gonna do the part of the mouth. So you're gonna. Do a little, like, half a circle, I think, a semicircle. Um, so we're going to do this, I think. I'm not as a good drawer as, like, Beatrix Potter. I'm not a good drawer. Beatrix Potter is a really good drawer, so I'm definitely not going to do You are a good drawer. True, I, I am a good drawer, like, for humans. I mean, Lala, that, Lala is your real name. Um, so, I'm gonna do the next part. It's another, like, semicircle and going in the ears, but we're just gonna do a semicircle like that. And now we're going to do the ear. It's more like a sharp U and a skinny U. Like that. Now we're going to do the other ear of the first one. I'm trying my best. That's the only thing that, that's the thing that most people like it. Actually, I'm going to erase the first head. I forgot to say you should look, look, um, at the book here to see what to do. I'll put it right over here. So you could look and I could look. So, I'm, and I also forgot to say that it's good to do a really soft um, head to do with your pencil. I'm going to use my other pencil for this to help me. So, we're going to do the first part of it. We're going to start from the nose. A little rounded. And then 
and we're gonna go down and there we're gonna do a semicircle. I did this part not like gentle because that's the easiest part I think. I wanna do a bit more gentle. I bet you could barely see it. Yep. So now we're gonna do the other parts. Actually, I think that I could redo that part. The good thing about doing it gently is that it it erases it erases very easily. But the more you go over it, the the darker it gets, and then it's more hard to erase. Now we're going to do one of the ears. If you erased one, then you could skip this part if you're ahead of me, since you could be ahead of me if you really liked yours. I didn't really like mine because it was a bit too round. Now, this ear doesn't have marks like Peter does, so I'm going to keep on going. So. I'm going to need to erase a little part of this. And this, because if you see that this one is curling up on top of the other one or in front. So that's why I needed to erase. Yeah, that's better. After we're done this, you could tell me how you like your Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. And if you want, you could even go to a different YouTube video and see what how to make Peter with all of his lines. I even colored him in, you see. Yeah. And there, I've done the head. Yeah, now, if you're done doing that, you could, you can make it harder. So, you could put your pencil harder on it so you see the outlines where you need to color. And then... Let's do the whiskers that we need to do. There, yeah. Those are my, are my two whiskers. And now let's do the thing in the ear. So you go like a diagonal line. And then you do a straight line. You barely can see mine because my pencil is a bit fat. And now you can see that perfectly, my head. And then we should do the eyes. Well, there's one eye because you can't see the other eye because it's at the other side of the face. 
that's not the place where the eye goes. I think I'm I'm gonna need to erase a, a bit of parts. If you like yours, you could skip this part, but if yours is like mine, you should stay at this part. Okay, that's not very good. After you color it in, then you won't be able to see the mistakes that you've done. That's the good thing about coloring in. I'm not that good, so don't laugh at me. You might be older than me since I'm just seven. You're, you're turning a mom. mom. True. And you go to. True. Now we're doing the nose. There and then we've got the head. I don't care if it if it doesn't look like well if I'm if I am a, a bit better than you then I'm going to tell you something. The only thing that matters is if you have fun and you could and practice, which you could start this video all over again if you want, so you could practice and practice and practice, which I'm going to do, but I want to try it for the first time to see how good I've done in years. Maybe I'll even do the Flopsy Bunnies next video if I just read it to you, and then I'm going to draw that so we're done the face I guess or if you're not done I'm gonna give you two minutes which is starting now Okay, the two minutes is done. So now we're gonna go and start the little skirt that they have as a coat. I think that that's called, I think that it's called a skirt. But I don't know because I only live in Canada. So, yeah. That part was a little bit easy. If you didn't do that, it's easy. You could just look here and then you could see how it looks like. I think that you're done. That's all that I know. So, 
<clears throat> I think that we should do the bottom part with the tail and the feet. So I think that it looks a bit round. So let's start with a semicircle. We'll we'll erase the things that we didn't need after. And now we're going to do a little Heat. And then we're gonna erase the parts that we don't need. If you did it hard, then you could still see the place that you did it, so you could trace it. And if you make a mistake, just erase it. But remember, the only thing that that matters is to have fun. It doesn't matter how good you are at drawing. True. True, Lala. <laughs> yeah, and then we are done that, so you could draw, you could color it in if you want, which that's what I did with Peter. I'm really proud of mine, but I don't think that it's as good as Peter because I've drew, I've drawn Peter lots of times and I used a video and my thing to help and my book to help me. If you enjoy your um, one of your bunnies, then bravo, you like it. I'm, I really hope you enjoyed coloring, coloring with me this one. And we're going to continue in a little bit. I'm going to color mine, okay? So I've done my Flopsy. I didn't know what it was what what she was called i i thought that the first one was flopsy since it's the first one so yeah <clears throat> so here's my cat his name is shadow oh hi shadow hi, hi everybody hi i am shadow so now we're gonna start the second one, which which is little, which is gonna connect into Flopsy. So let's start it. Let's start by doing the foot. And then it's a diagonal a diagonal line into the foot after you've done this. And then we're gonna do a little thing. From here you do this up to here. And then you could do the tail since it is there. And then you go up, you could put a little point here. And then you could drag down from the point all the way there. So I think that's the bottom. And then we're going to do a little thing like I think it stopped the the little jacket stops at here so you do a little line here and then you could put a strip 
a straight line like that. And then you could put it down all the way to there. And then you could do the head, which is a little curve here. And then through there is the other part. And then there is one ear on this one because the other one is at the other side. So I guess we need to put the other one beside, right beside it. So I'm doing the other part of the head and then I'm gonna do the ear here and then Whoops, that's not where the ear should go. And so the ear is supposed to go here. And then the other one should be poking out right over there. So it looks like that it's behind. I hope that you see what I was doing. like that and then you can make the eye this one is easy because it's littler, littler than the other ones so we are actually done that one. So now we could color it in. It's right over here. So I'm gonna color it in. So I've colored the other one right over there. So if you haven't colored it, then I'm gonna set a timer for, two, for one minute. Okay, you get it one minute. If you're not mm -hmm. done, pause the video because I'm going to move on, like, right now, okay? So, since we did the other one, now it's time for the third one, which is even smaller. So, we're going to start with the hand, which is just a little circle and then we're gonna make two little strings coming out to make a bag so there that's the bag right over there if you could see it, yeah. And then we're gonna do the little skirt thing. So we do this and then this. And then we go up to here. And then we do the little circle oval thing and then we could do the bottom until there 
and then we just make a little tail there and then we do the head which is just this and then a little ear on top and then this which is the other ear behind and then since it went so fast we could already color it because it's so little so, if you're wondering what should be the color for the bag, it should be peach, but if you don't have peach, you could use yellow or gray. Or any color, you could use your imagination. I did peach because I had peach. So, if you didn't color it in yet, you could do it okay i'm gonna start counting now Ten more seconds left. Okay, it has been ten more seconds. So now, the last thing that we need to do is Mrs. Rabbit, which is going to be the hardest, I think. But we'll make it through. So, let's start it right now. Okay, so let's start with the skirt. Wait, let, let's actually start with the head. It's the easiest to do first. So, I think that's what the head is supposed to be like, but bigger, I think. Like that, maybe. And then we should make the eye. She's not angry, though. <laughs> to tell you he's just looking down okay and then we're gonna do the ears so it's like this 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 and then we erase this part and then we if you erase part of your ear, then you could just trace it back again, like that. Since I erased part of my ear, I've had loads of practice on doing humans, so I'm not that good at doing bunnies. Now, if you want, you could do the whiskers. And then we could do the nose, which is like a V down there. Like that. And then we could make her jacket, well, her dress. So I'm going to start with the arm part or the paw part, whichever one you'd like.
then I normally do this so I know where the jacket is is supposed to be and then I erase it. So the jacket is supposed to I mean the the dress part for your tummy or your body, I don't know what it is. Then we go like this, I think, or like that. So erasing the stuff we don't need. And then if you erased parts of your drawing, then you could just trace it back again. There we go. Then we could erase part of this for the other arm. Like that. Yeah. And then we do a little like this. And then we do this. And then we do a little hand with a basket in it. So, and she's giving it to, whoops, we forgot something in this. But we don't need to put it. Like I'm not, like I'm doing. And then we do a little circle. There we go. And then we do a little basket there. And then we could put the lines. There we go. And then we need to do the other part of her. Okay, so it's like this. We're starting the other stuff. We're starting the other side of Mrs. Rabbit. And then after we're done Mrs. Rabbit, then we're done the whole page. So, and now we do a little, so thinky, like she's wearing an apron to help her dress be together at her waist. And then it's just the easiest part. At least I think. Like this. And then you can make a little. Okay, and then we do the part of the apron like this to do that. And then we just need to color it in. I hope you really enjoy your your Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. And if you want, you could even draw Peter, but I've already drew him. So I hope that you've really enjoyed it. Yeah, and maybe next time I could draw on this page another picture, maybe even the Flopsy Bunnies. And just in case if you didn't draw your Mrs. Rabbit, then I'll give you a few minutes to look at this and also to 
color your your Mrs. Rabbit. And if you liked our videos, then you choose. You could subscribe. There we go. I think it's time to say bye-bye. Because it has been a long time with me and you together. Bye.